And let's look at Amazon. Amazon start off its business again, very risky, high risk business, uh, selling goods, physical goods over the internet. And we heard earlier on about how it, it created a new way to grow by opening up a marketplace. It has now invested more and more in marketplace activities, as we heard, the Amazon Web Services marketplace, it bought a gaming marketplace. It has, I guess, connected together its activities through Amazon Prime, the loyalty program, and it leverages third parties to promote its business through Amazon Associates. But you can see where else it's investing. It's invested heavily in intellectual assets, and that has allowed it to decrease the risk as it invests in other physical assets. And in fact, you know, you, you may have heard how it bought, Amazon bought a traditional offline grocery business, Whole Foods. A lot of people were wondering why it did that. And in the past, it would have been very risky business to do. But because it has created a synergistic business model based around platforms, it's actually invested in another customer of its platform. And the risk of investing in Whole Foods or indeed in other physical activities diminishes because of the synergistic platform-based business model that it operates. Now, Amazon also invests a lot in R&D, about 14% of its revenues, which many companies just can't possibly keep up with. But look at this quote from Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos excuse me, here. If you double the number of experiments you do per year, you're going to double your inventiveness. So Amazon, remember, remember that day one concept of Amazon, where we are we're starting every day at the beginning. Um, and in all its activities, it looks at how we can be more inventive, but critically using a platform-based approach to enable us to create the scale and value that is going to be successful in the future.